you have a press statement, ladies and gentlemen, dated June 18, 2021. It reads, Biafra, Southeast leaders refuted insufficient, unacceptable substitute for referendum. The coalition of northern groups, which alerted on the dangers of the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and insisted on a referendum for the actualization of the independent state of Biafra for the Igbo as the only guarantee for a peaceful future, is addressing you once again on the ensuing situation in Nigeria since then. In our earlier submission, we highlighted the conceivable implications of the uttered threats and practical steps being taken by the Igbo under the guise of IPOP. These Southeast militant IPOP members unceasingly ferment hateful violence against other ethnicities and the Nigerian state, while a handful of Southeast leaders began a frantic move to cover their complicity in the atrocities by pretending to denounce the IPOP and its leader, Nandikar. We note also that while on one hand, these Southeast leaders present a pretext of denouncing IPOP, on another hand, they are working to give legitimacy to the Eastern Security Network, which they renamed EBEMU, which we all know is a militant wing of IPOP. The extent of deception also becomes apparent in the way the Southeast leaders give the appearance of dissociating themselves from the Biafran violent agitation and at the same time vehemently attempting to support and justify IPOP's brand of self-determination beat premised on false claims of marginalization and pursued through violence and violation of other ethnic nationalities and state institutions. Our observations. The CNG cannot be blinded by these desperations to cover up what is glaringly an attempt to downplay the atrocities committed, the complicity involved, and the trivialization of what is genuinely a case that must be resolved once for all. Hence, the CNG observes as follows. One, that the refutal is a belated desperation to run away from a raging fire they fanned with their own hands by several years of indoctrinating their youth with the head of the North in particular and the whole of Nigeria in general. Two, that the desperation amounts to yet another attempt to buy time to regroup for another onslaught and violence like it has happened throughout history. Number three, that the rest of Nigeria, particularly the North, must not allow themselves to fall into another trap of accepting the lies, deceit, and falsehood of the evil leaders that cannot be supported by the prevailing reality. Number four, despite the claim, of the, the claim by the Southeast leaders to have strength in what is happening, Evidence suggests that their stake in ensuring what they are promising is a mere illusion. As just recently, their entire collective might was subdued by IPOP energy, who called the shots and had the wherewithal to threaten and enforce a shutdown of all activities in the entire five states of the Southeast. Our stand. Number one. For the avoidance of doubt, the coalition of northern groups states here that the north will no longer be deceived by the antics of the protégés of those who assassinated its forefathers and threw the entire country into a ruinous civil war that has set the stage for the current confusion and national decadence. Number two, we categorically hold the refutal by the southeast leaders unacceptable and insist that a referendum must be conducted 
to prepare the stage for the final exit of the Igbo from the rest of Nigeria that has never engaged in such violent agitations for break up at any time. Number three, and the last demand that since the bulk of the, in, of the active support for the violent Igbo cessation is from those within the 50-year bracket with a dangerous mindset developed by wrong teachers over a long period, it is inconceivable for the rest of Nigerians, particularly the North, to accept to continue coexisting with them at the risk of major conflicts that could lead to another civil war. This is the short statement we have today, and we believe it's uh, direct to the point. Thank you very much. Uh, friends and colleagues, as we are aware of uh, what has been happening these days, we have taken steps. Uh, you must have been aware that we wrote to traditional rulers and other elders of the North, and we just wrote another representation to the National Assembly. We have served the office of the Senate President and other senators have uh, uh, an endorsed copy of this proof of service on the Senate President. And we now have a brief on what, we, what is contained in the letter we sent to the National Assembly, essentially. So we read, call for suspension of constitution review and for referendum on self-determination to the violent agitations for Biafra. The coalition of northern groups has taken stock of events unfolding in Nigeria since 2016, noting especially with utter perplexity and concern the unrelenting disturbances created by certain interest groups in the southeast in the form of the violent agitation for a separate state of Biafra, which, uh, of, for, for in the form of the agitation for a separate state of Biafra, which turned violent. The embers of this agitation were ignited and incessantly fanned into a raging fire by the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and other authors of mindless violence and separatism who see it as their duty to actualize what their fathers started in 1966, namely to bring about the realization of a separate state of Biafra through the force of arms and terrorist tactics. As the representatives of various interest groups from northern Nigeria, the CNG has watched and studied these events carefully and with considerable restraint and maturity to the point of condoning and accommodating several unreasonable and unacceptable actions that have been perpetrated against Nigerians collectively and northerners in particular. Of late, however, Matters have reached a point whereby silence has become complicity and inaction is no longer an option. Unprovoked evictions, attacks and killings of northerners in various parts of the south have resulted from the hate campaigns and propaganda being conducted by regional and ethnic agitators aimed mainly at instigating reprisals by Northerners against people from other parts of the country. Aware that the perpetrators of violence relentlessly pursuing this agenda of destruction and collective mayhem fervently hope it will engulf the entire country and bring about another civil war and mass killings and suffering of innocent people, the CNG took another bold step last week to address a petition to every significant component of the Northern society. Similar representations were made to the leadership of the National Assembly and delivered yesterday, Wednesday, June 9, 2021, in which the CNG made the following key demands from the Federal Parliament. One, we demanded the immediate suspension 
of the ongoing exercise for the review of the 1999 Constitution and to concentrate on the first priority of determining who and what actually constitutes Nigeria as a nation in the present circumstance in which the Igbo, by taking up arms against the Nigerian state for the third time, have foreclosed every hope for the rest of us to continue coexisting with them as one nation. Two. In order to achieve the final separation of the Igbo from the rest of Nigeria, we demanded the National Assembly to organize a referendum by seeking the cover of the same doctrine of necessity invoked by Nigeria's federal parliament that paved way for former President Goodluck Jonathan's takeover by declaring the late President Umaru Musa Eradua unfit. Number three. We demanded the National Assembly to prevail on the federal government of Nigeria to invite the United Nations as well as the African Union and ECOWAS to, in, to initiate the process of self-determination to mandate the Biafarans out of the Nigerian Union by leveraging on the several relevant international treaties and conventions to which Nigeria is a signatory. Grounds. CNG notes that, having failed to achieve the Igbo's nefarious objective by hijacking the NSAS agitations and inciting the violence and destruction that followed in its wake, long practice tactics are now being played out in the form of attacks against northerners and against agents and symbols of the federal government of Nigeria in the southeast and parts of the south-south. The mindless violence and extremist terrorist actions per perpetrated by IPOB and its followers in the Southeast and the South South have therefore made it impossible for us to remain indifferent or silent in the face of such extreme provocations and insistent drive towards civil strife in the country. Today, everyone can see that the diabolical scheme planned and exhibited in the actions and claims of IPOB supported morally and politically by the vast majority of the pliant and affrighted Igbo elites, politicians, traditional rulers, business persons, and the larger population of this ethnic group has pushed Nigeria to the precipice. We are convinced that this renewed violent determination of the Igbo to see through the secession of the Southeast from Nigeria is now real and cannot be avoided or deferred any longer without terrible consequences. In order to avoid such mishaps and unnecessary devastation on all sides, particularly the Southeast, whose leaders and agitators are now bent on driving it over the brink into catastrophe, CNG is of the view that resort to available means of actualizing the separation of the Southeast from the rest of, the, of Nigeria is today a vital task that must be undertaken by all. <coughs> Conclusion. In order to prevent a descent into another civil war at this day and age, and to forestall mass killings untold sufferance and atrocities, the CNG has committed to the call for a referendum that will finally separate the Southeast from Nigeria. In this connection, we are hoping that the National Assembly will come up with a framework to be agreed upon in the course of the referendum and its final implementation in the Southeast or any enclave that wishes to secede from Nigeria. All identified indigents, that is Igbos of the enclave or entity that call for secession, that is the southeast, <clears throat> must leave the territory of Nigeria and assemble in their designated enclave for the purpose of the exercise. The outcome of the referendum shall be final, irreversible, and shall not be reviewed or reconsidered for any other reasons. Citizens of the breakaway enclave shall be deprived of any automatic rights to return to the territory of the ramp Nigeria or to be admitted to live in any of its parts. 
we are aware that all this while the North <clears throat> continued to bear the brunt of the violent agitations for secession with equanimity, stoical calm, and resignation. In spite of this studied and dignified reserve of the North and refusal by its people to engage in altercations with these self-appointed enemies of Nigeria and antagonists of the North, no stone is being left unturned by these people to see that the North is guarded into reacting. Therefore, as the CNG recommits to the pursuit of a final constitutional separation with Biafra, we urge the North to remain the bulwark of respect, integrity, dignity, decorum, tradition, decency, morality, civilization, etiquette, good behavior, politeness, accommodation, and all other positive traits with the assurance that the good will ultimately prevail over evil. That's all. Thank you. You can see it's a short.